Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Yuanika from Tai City Kimono. Today I'll be showing you how to put on kimono coats. Now, in my collection I only have uh, three different types of coats. Haori, Michiyuki and a fleece um, coat. Now, it was specifically designed for kimono. Be aware that there are more uh, types of kimono coats out there. One that pops up in my mind is the Dochugi, which looks similar to the fleece coat, but it has ties on the side. Some people um, confuse it with Hawaii, but it's a separate type of kimono coat on its own. Um, I know Hanten as well, those are thick coats for winter. They're, they're really quilted and padded and all. So yeah. Um, like I said, uh, the three types that I'll be putting on today are Hauri, Michiyuki, and the fleece coat. So yeah, let's pop into the video. So I got my uh, Shibuya Hauri here. What I forgot to mention in the intro is that coats can have designs. Some of them are seasonal, some are not. Like this is just um, a leaf design, so I probably could get away with wearing it all year round, with the exception of summer. However, the lining... I'll provide a close-up. does have a seasonal design. As you can see, there's bamboo leaves, um, these round things over here. There are mallets. So, in a way, this tells me that it should be a wrong worn with either special occasions or around New Year's because I see um, seven treasures, or at least most of them. So whenever you're selecting a haori to wear, that's what you might want to take into consideration. Also, haori can have kamo, usually one. And those are reserved for like school entrances and whatnot. It doesn't really matter if you wear them over jeans, but with cream on it, I would be careful to select one that actually does fit the occasion that you're going to wear it to. This one's all shibui, but you can have all kinds of ahori, like regular um, silk synthetic, even summer ones, actually. I have mine right here. You can see through. And this is a lined shawl. So it has two layers instead of just one. Back to the other hour though. So before you wanna put them on, you wanna fold the collar back. Just have it like that, and then I pop it on. And then simply grab the sleeves and put my arm into there. Now, it may happen that the collar comes unfolded again, so what I do now is just lift it up, fold it back, and then I just tug at the bottom. Now, some how you may come with ties. I actually made this, t uh, this one myself. It's just a beaded um, <laughs> thing I made, and I already have both uh, on both sides these loops. That's why you attach the Hawari Himo to the one side. Just going to put it on onto the other, and then I have my Hawari on. So I got my Michiyuki here, just like the Haori, these can be seasonal, mine is just plain, like there's no design on it or whatever, 
The inside does have a chrysanthemum pattern. Hope you can see with the lighting and all. It's fairly shiny even in real life. So depending on what the what season uh, the design is on your Michiki, you might as well want to take it consideration when you want to wear it. Some of uh, some of the people I know do wear this on top of a jeans. I personally find the shape not as flattering as Howdy because it kind of looks like a tube shape on me if I don't wear kimono. As for wearing it though. Um, my Michiki, I don't know if every Michiki has these, but mine has ties on one side. You can tie them. Again, I didn't find the shape very flattering because the front panel would kind of bulge out a bit because the tie uh, these ties were tied too tightly. Wow, that's a tongue breaker. <laughs> so I usually just leave them untied but the original purpose of these was so that they because the michiki is um it's fastened with snaps so if it does get um loose or whatever it won't slip off your shoulder because of the ties because they're still tied together so if your michiki does have them um you're welcome to tie it. I personally just don't, so I'll leave that up to you. Now, recently I got a question from someone on the color of the Michiki because it's just about a centimeter wide, and because how the colors are folded, she thought that you need to fold it as well. But now you can just wear it as is. Just pop it on. So again, grab my one sleeve. As you can see, the color sits nicely against the kimono color. So this is where the ties would usually come in. You simply tie them together like that. They're on the inside, so in the it will be covered up and they won't be visible. And then you simply start we're snapping the snaps together. There we go. Also, these buttons, they're totally fake. <laughs> So lastly, there's this thick kimono coat. Now the sleeves are a little bit different than the Haori Machiki because those have regular kimono sleeves. However, this one has more like bad sleeves, I guess. They're just rounded off and then attached to the side. So your sleeve is a little bit bunched in on the bottom of the sleeve. For like short sleeve like this one it doesn't really matter that much but if you have longer sleeves it kind of feels as if you have an extra weight on underneath your arm. It's not really that pleasant as I, I wore this one with a full length foodie sort of ones. I didn't have any other coat at the time but I don't really recommend doing that. <laughs> As up, um, this coat Again, it comes with ties. I personally don't tie them, but if your coat does, you're very welcome to do so. So putting it on, this one again, you fold the, uh, the collar back. Sleeve. 
just make sure that the color is still full of black. In my case, it is. I may need to be a little more close up because I don't know if you can see the colors. It's a really um, dark color code. So I have a loop here and a button. Oh, yeah. Also, this one comes with a pocket. I don't have anything in it right now, but I tend to put my phone and keys in here so that I can listen to music while I'm on public transport. So that, there is a total of three buttons here that I close. Just make sure everything sits nicely. Yeah, this is the third coat, the winter fleece type of coat. It's actually very warm and comfy to wear. A different kind of angle here. So what I forgot to mention is the sizes of the coats. Now the length, sure it, it does matter but the wingspan is actually what is most important. I don't know if you saw you might want to scroll back to take a look but the wingspan of the Hari that I wore wasn't as wide as the one of the kimono and you can see that by the fact that the kimono sleeves pops out just a little bit so you want to make sure that the wingspan of the coat that you want to wear is at least the same wingspan as the kimono or one or two centimeters longer so that it covers the entire sleeve in a way it makes sense because otherwise things are started to pop out at the sleeves and you can really easily tell also it happens really fast I know this um, Hori is one of the bigger ones. I think the others have an even um, smaller wingspan. So I grabbed the large one I could, but even then I couldn't prevent it from happening. So yeah, with that I shall let you guys go and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.